Go ahead, girl. Angel here, pasta. Get the shrimp out for them. Bone all the shrimp. Not de bone, I'm sorry. De vein. De veined all the shrimp. I'm leaving the tail on because to me the tail has flavor. These are your large shrimps. I got these for Walmart. These are your extra large size. So I'm just going to actually just season them up and saute them in a pan. And then we'll incorporate it. I like to rinse off my spaghetti. These are the thin ones. Just to get that starch off of it. So I let cold water run to rinse them off. Excuse my dishwater. But I clean up as I go. So, yeah, I like to um, rinse that starch off of it. Let that cold water run and get that starchy, starchy starch off of there. And we'll go from there. extra virgin olive oil in the pan to saute the shrimp just a little bit because I already coated the shrimp with the oil Semi, semi homemade chunk of fredo with your dance spaghetti. I'm just gonna let that you know simmer down just a little bit. with my mushrooms y'all I get the big portobello mushrooms and I chop them up and I freeze them I'm old school like that see I chop them up these big old portobello mushrooms I chop them I love mushrooms y'all I can eat mushrooms in anything anything so I'm gonna let that the shrimp are pretty much done when you start seeing them that color right there they're done so I'm gonna actually pour the sauce over here let that simmer for a little while then we'll combine the noodles we'll add our basil and all of our rest of our little small the mushrooms is incorporated. The shrimp are already cooked. So what I'm going to do now is I had to turn that fire down, y'all. It was going outrageous. So now I'm putting in this is what I use, y'all. Sun-dried tomato alfredo. I love this. I'm going to pour that in now. I turned the fire down. So it's going to be extremely high. So I got to get this to thin out so that way you can coat it. So y'all, I've added some cheese. I also, I forgot to tell you, I had some garlic, some minced garlic in here too. Kind of sauteed that up with the mushrooms and the shrimp. Um, I did that off camera, but I just put in some cheese just now, just to give it that more cheesy Alfredo, creamy goodness. Oh, I can't wait to taste this, y'all. I know it's gonna be off the chain. I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese in there. Y 
y'all the TV on a thousand. I'm pretty sure y'all can hear it, but it's all good. So I turned the fire down to like like a slow medium. And as y'all can see that you know the sauce is incorporated, the sauce seasoned with the garlic and the onion powder, the garlic powder. I'm gonna put some basil in here just to give it that um and some more Italian seasoning so that way when I put the noodles in, it'll grab all of that flavor. But in the meantime, I'm gonna let this simmer for a while, y'all, and just let it do its thing. Sorry about the tapping. All right. And I love this spoon, y'all. Love it. It has so much seasoning. You know how they say everything that holds seasonings? Yeah, this whole seasoning. I love it. So it's like a cast iron skillet to me. All right, but that's it. So you got your mushrooms, your garlic, your sun-dried tomatoes, Alfredo sauce, your shrimp. You get all your, look at that goodness. So when I come back, I'm gonna be putting the noodles in and we're gonna put it all together. We're gonna plate it and show y'all how it looks. Layer and layer and layer. This sauce. So the butter's finally melting, y'all. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Smell of vision should be invented ASAP. Alright, there we go. Okay, y'all, so it's all cooked in. I added off camera, I added some um oregano. And I've added some basil. So now I'm gonna just add in the thin spaghetti noodles. So that way they can just easily incorporate into the sauce. spaghetti noodles y'all. Um, I think they hold the sauce better. You know I think they they adhere to all the seasonings a lot better than the thicker Alfredo noodles. So I'm gonna let these noodles because I ran them under cold water so they kind of cool. So I'm gonna let them warm up with the sauce y'all and then we're gonna plate it and voila we'll see what it do. That's all that minced garlic, y'all. Shrimp, basil, oregano. Let me get a little closer so y'all can see it. The mushrooms. The shrimp. Look at that. Just layers. Garlic. You can see the minced garlic in it. Just layers and layers of flavor. The butter to give it the richness. That sun-dried Alfredo sauce. Look at that goodness, just, oh my God. And I kept the tails on because I like the flavor of the tail of the shrimp. It gives it that seafood savory taste. Look at that. All right, y'all, so there it is. Y'all see it in the pot? I'll pan it up for you guys, but for the most part, this is it. My version of semi-homemade shrimp alfredo bit of the shredded parmesan and it's done y'all it is done i'm gonna plate it up and present you the plate this is the finished plating y'all this is it look how good that looks y'all look at that look at all the shrimp exactly how I did it but you can do a similar um, just a little bit of TLC for a semi homemade meal something good and hearty that can feed a lot of people with just a few ingredients thank you guys for watching thank you for stay tuned in and as always don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment on this video let me know what you think until the next video see you guys
Go ahead, girl.